I'm live. Hey guys, I missed you last week. There's my friend Janet, just in time for the live notification thing. Me. <laughs> How is everybody? Good to be here. Here I am. Do you like my hat? I don't know why. I just was like, put that hat on. Do something different. <laughs> here I am. So let's see. Yeah, I was just um Adam just mentioned or, or Lisa just mentioned in the chat that we ought to start a list of people's names and their YouTube names. Guess what? I did that the other day. I started one. <laughs> You like the hat? Thank you. Thank you so much. Dora, hi, how are you? So let me say hi to people. Oh, there's there's Patty. There's my BFF. Hi, you like my hat? Uh, so we got uh, Janet, bunch of carrots, and Patty, and I got Lisa, who's flipping crazy. I don't know if she is flipping crazy, but she's she's Lisa. <laughs> And I got Carlos here. She's Prince of Casserole. And, and Adam's here, of course. Uh, and my friend Tara is here, Forever Lose On. And Barbie Crafts is here. Hi, Barbie. And Dora's here. Okay. So, do you want the funny story first? Or I know Patty probably wants the funny story first because she wants to take a nap. I told her in church, I said, stay, stay for the funny story. It's at the beginning. Maybe one thing is funny. I don't know. Hey, Mary, how are you? So what does uh, bath and body wallflowers have to do with meatloaf? Give up? <laughs> hey, Jennifer. So I got, I like the Christmas sense of the, Bath and Body, Bath and Body Wallflowers, and there's one called Balsam. It smells like mm, Christmas trees. So I I needed one of the holders, right? The the actual wallflower, wallflower holder, scent holder things, and uh, I wanted to get one. And I hadn't been to Bath and Body, but I saw one at Goodwill, and I'm like. What's the chances of that one of these being a goodwill? All righty then, I'm gonna pick this up. Hey Nadine. Hey um Henry, how are you? So so I'm like, hey, this is cool. Got some things, got some good stuff, got a few pieces of jewelry, I think, that day, and and got this, you know, wallflower. Cool. So I went home and I and I got out my Christmas scents and I'm like, which one? Which one? Okay, balsam smells like Christmas trees. I want to use that one. Okay. So I put it above. I put it on my kitchen counter because I like my kitchen to smell good and and it's kind of have an open floor plan, so it kind of would go in the living room and everywhere. So it was smelling up, smelling up real good, and uh, and it was. And I was thinking, man, that is really working good. I went over and and it was dripping out the bottom. Boink, boink. That balsam stuff was dripping out the bottom, right? So uh, skip on to like the next day. Hey, Catherine, making meatloaf. Okay, making meatloaf. I hadn't, I don't cook a lot. And like I, I try to, I try to make something like baked or cooked or, you know actual food <laughs> like twice a week or so for my husband I try to make something good that he would like so I'm making meatloaf make meatloaf I put it in the oven looks really good I put barbecue sauce on it and you know we we get it out and we start eating it and we're like something what I, I'm, I don't understand I made this like they're like I usually make it it's usually good it tastes it tastes like I don't know. Balsam? <laughs> so what had happened was that dripping wallflower was dripping that essence of balsam into the salt shaker. Into the salt shaker. So <laughs> we had like balsam meatloaf. <laughs> um, only me. See, only only oh, I could do that. 
Hi, Mary Harris. So that's my funny story. I hope I made you smile today. And I, I told uh, my husband on the way home from church, I said, I'm going to tell my funny story about the meatloaf. I said, that ought to be good. And he said, well, it wasn't good. <laughs> uh, I know. And like when I was making it, you would have thought I'd have smelled that. I mean, I kept thinking, man, that, that balsam scent's really hanging around. It's, it's everywhere. It really was. It really was everywhere. It's in the daggone meatloaf. And then my husband's face got all red. He was like, do you think we'll be okay? Do you think, do you think we're poisoned? And I said, oh, hon, I, I doubt it. It was only like a drop, I think. <laughs> when we got up the next morning. We said, hey, we lived through the night. <laughs> oh. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> all right on to the jewelry hello i just on my way home from work i'm watching you now hey hi how are you how are you cindy hi pam's treasures i just told my balsam meatloaf story you'll have to go back and watch it jewelry nurse cindy so hi robin so i'm gonna show my hi mila how are you I'm going to show my sales. I had three sales overnight, so I'll show you those first. I thought maybe that'd be a good thing to do. I'm running a 10% sale in my Etsy shop right now. And I sold this uh, cute little brooch. It's a it's a, like a leaf rake, right? And it has a little leaves, dangling leaves on it. Really cute. I, I can't remember where I got that, but I'm sure I only paid a dollar or something for it or two. Um, I sold it for 22, but I had the sale, so it ended up being $19.80. That's really cute. That went. Oh, thanks, Adam. My second super chat. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> I appreciate it. And then I sold uh, a picture frame, which I usually pick up picture frames uh, when I'm in the store, and I think this one was 25 cents. But it's vintage cool, right? It's really vintage -y and really cool. Um, you know, there's not, it's, it's going to be easy to ship. And uh, see those flowers on there? Isn't that pretty cool? And, it's, and it almost looks like burl wood, but it's really um, like lacquered. Um, so the, I had this up for $26 just because of the cool factor of it. And uh, on sale, it sold for $23.40. Yeah, I love that frame, too. And I like the ones that are inlaid wood, too, even though they, if they're faux, even though they just, you know, they're kind of cool looking. And I sold this locket for, um, I had it up for $58 and sold it for $52.20 with the sale. Um, it's really old. And it has, like, applied... Uh, seed pearls. The seed pearls have have a lot of wear on them, but that's part of the charm of it, I think. Um, it's a big locket. Probably, you know, I'm not sure the age of it, but it's old, and it opens up and everything. And there's the back of it. And uh, I put it on this chain that I thought looked pretty nice with it. So that is that's going. So they were my three sales overnight. And I've been, I've had my best month ever uh, and my best year ever on Etsy. Um, so I, and I hit 4,000 sales this week and Etsy sent me a little, hey, give yourself a pat on the back. You made 4,000 sales. So I like that. That was pretty cool. Um, and I am, thank you very much. Thanks. And I am wearing uh, this set, one of the sets that my friend Etta got me, um, friend mail that I showed last week. This is so beautiful. You probably can't see it really well, but it's really, really pretty. And I love it. And uh, got the earrings on too. So, yeah, excited about that. So it looks so nice and I just feel so so pretty with it on. Thank you so much again. Um, 
Thanks everybody for the congrats. I appreciate it. So I do have some pretty cool jewelry to show. Um, but after this week, I've, I've kind of like run out, you know, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I just don't feel like can, I can just keep buying stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to give it some thought as to how I'm going to go forward with my channel. I just don't feel like I can keep keep on buying and buying and buying. It's not going out as fast as it's coming in. Although, like I said, I'm doing really well, but still. <laughs> uh, so this was this was neat. I think I got these at two different places. I don't think they were even together, which is pretty amazing. This is a Monet stretch bracelet. It's probably not terribly old, but uh, um, I like the design on it. It's faux tortoise and uh, has kind of a uh, ribbed or irregular frame around it, gold tone. And then these are the earrings that go with it. They match it, if you can see that. So I like them. And I'm pretty sure I didn't get these at the same place. I'm, I'm not pretty sure I didn't get them at the same place. Because I just found out this was Monet. Yeah, I know I didn't get them at the same place. I, I just found out this was Monet. And I'm like, this looks so similar to those earrings I got. And yes, it's 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 matches. Uh, you can just send me the the overflow inventory, <laughs> Catherine. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much. I didn't really know that the thumbs up meant a whole lot, but I guess it does help you in search. So I don't know. Um, I appreciate the thumbs up or the thumbs down or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I just like coming on here sharing stuff you, oh janet has an idea she's going to pm me later okay great so i had these already these are um park lane i think yeah yeah i think it's park lane um but i didn't know they were park lane at the time because i just got the brooch and only the brooch Brooch, brooch, pin is signed. So I had had these earrings for a while. Let me put them on here. Had them for a while and I just thought they were so pretty. Why is the light not good here today? Because they have the diamond, or not really diamonds, but they have those little rhinestones up the middle it this it's not doing it justice here but and then i found this pin and i'm like wow that is a set that is a set right there so so now i have a set a really pretty set of park lane um so i like that a lot Why don't you do some auctions with Dwayne? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about doing one in uh, maybe March. Um, and jewelry nurse Cindy has has been asking me to do one with her, and I was thinking about doing one with April. So I'm just having to figure out how I'm gonna do it, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna auction, all that stuff. Um, oh, thanks, Mary. Thank you, Mary. So then I got this. I got I got a little lot on eBay. Um, this was part of that lot. If I, I am going to still buy stuff, if I see stuff that I know I can snipe up and and it's it's a good price and and I can get it for a little bit of nothing, you know, and there's multiple pieces in it, I'm going to get it. So this was one of those cases. It's a long. I put the chain on it. All I got was the pendant, but the chain looks really good with it. It's uh, really pretty purple stone pendant necklace, and it's foiled on the back, so it's got some age to it. Um, it's a really pretty 
shade. It's almost like lavender. It's light purple. So there's that I got. Hi, Leslie. I feel awful. I may not last on here long. What's the matter, uh, Carla? Um, you, are you sick? Hey, hey, Casey. Oh, gee, feel better, Carla. Gee whiz. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, tell uh, Jimmy to take care of you. Um, hey, bum crack. Head and tummy. Oh, gee. Yeah, take care. That's no fun. Anybody that I missed coming in? Hello. Layla, hi. Uh, this is Mark Friedrich or Frederick, F R E I D R I C H. So it almost sounds like German. Friedrich, Friedrich. Bianca, she's here. She would know. Hi, Nadine. Did I say hi to you? Uh, it's a big pin or brooch. <laughs> I don't know the difference. I know there's probably a difference, but I don't know the difference. Uh, it's it's really pretty filigree, and it has a a like a faux. Um, no, it does have a C in the middle. It has a C on it, and it's signed Fred Friedrich on the back. Frederick. Hi, Lise. How are you? Hey, Hadron. I don't know if you can see that or not, but on that little oval thing. So it's a really cute, it's a really pretty old, old brooch. Big. It's big. What would you wear that? Maybe that, maybe you could wear that on, no, that's kind of big for a hat even. I don't know. It's really big. I love the hat. Oh, hi. Hi, Ophelia. You do? I just thought I'd do, do something different today. Wear the hat. And this was part of the, this was part of the, the lot that I got. Of course, this, these are, you know, not really, um, they're not real hard to find, but it's pretty nonetheless. You see, it has a lot of detail to it. So, and it is uh, probably from India, brass. Brass collar. And uh, it says, look at me, <laughs> Casey. Uh, put a gem on that and bam, instant tiara. Yeah, that's true. So I was happy to get more uh, coin earrings because I know I have a customer who loves coin jewelry and uh, she just bought some silver coin earrings and now if she might want some gold ones. So these are similar but not quite as fancy as the silver ones she bought. These are more plain but they're around the same size. And uh, they're pretty. Gee, I feel like my lighting is way off here today. What's wrong with it? It's really bright or something. So, yeah, I like those. They're pierced. And they're nicely... You know, there's there's no wear to them. I think coin jewelry's classic. Yeah, I do too. Me too. And then at uh, Salvation Army, I found a Napier necklace. Napier, Casey. Casey likes Napier. Oh, this is better. Okay, good. So this is just a. I I like the design of it. I think it's kind of fun, interesting. Just design of it. It's cute, kind of a bubbly, bubbly type of bead necklace. Got the napier right there. Or is it, or is it Tafari? Wait a minute. It's Trafari. Excuse me. It's Trafari. 
you can always tell Trafari because it's got that diagonal signature on it. Even if you're looking at it and you can't really read it yet, and you see that signature going sideways like that, that's Trafari. It's going uh, diagonally like that. I don't know why I was thinking that was Napier, but it's not. It's Trafari equally as good. Ah, uh, bonjour, Francis. <laughs> Angie, I tried to find your items on Etsy yesterday. What is your Etsy name? My Etsy name, Mary, is Dazzled by Vintage. It's all, all one word. Dazzled by Vintage. I should remember to put the link down in the description. I never remember to do that. Um... <laughs> what are you talking about, Adam? If you wait long enough, you'll be back in style. Oh, hi, Susan. I, oh, Selena's over there. Yeah, I did see she was on. Oh, uh, hugs. Um, hey, Jennifer. So I got this. Are your links in your about section? You know what? I don't have any links. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I know a lot of people put all their links to their books and, the, you know, all their different website things. And I don't have any of that stuff. I'm not good at that, sharing links and stuff. So if I remember to put it in, I will stick it in there. So this I got from eBay. It was a pretty good deal, so I scarfed it up. It's Monet. Uh, I don't think they actually go together, but... Um, they look nice together in the fact that they are the cream color enamel and the gold tone. And I think this chain link is really interesting. And it's it's rather long. I think it's 24 inches long. So the this is like the 70s Monet, probably. Or or possibly 80s. But um so more Monet. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, I thought it was cute, too. I liked it. And then also I got these earrings uh, at a thrift shop. Um, so they are cream colored and and gold too, and they're Monet, and they have like a little mento on the end, a cream colored mento. <laughs> um, question, where's the best place to buy chains and pendants for, for pendants, and what length is normally the best? Um, I usually just look for mine like um, in lots. Um, I've gotten a lot of them. You know, I, I just search and see if there's any lots with some in or um, usually sometimes I'll get some and it will be um, a different pendant on there that I'll just take off and substitute another one. Um, yeah, I like the longer chains, too. Actually, I'd, I'd much prefer to find longer chains than uh, the shorter ones. Because I have a I have a lot of the shorter chains and and I don't really use them as very much. Um, the longer chains is what I usually put my pendants on. Um, bum cracker. <laughs> uh, anyone have any extra Toll House chocolate chip cookies with walnuts to send me? <laughs> yeah, me too, Adam. Uh Muhammad Islam is here. Maybe somebody can can uh, usher him out. <laughs> uh, guys, her Etsy is awesome looking. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you so much, Mary. Insecure is the best. Um, do I have any? Hey, a cat, uh, Carla. There we go. Oh, cr bum cracky. Thank you. I don't know what he was about. Not sure. 
thank you so much for your um, compliments on my shop. So here's some more damascene that I got. Uh, I got it. I got it on eBay too, and a lot. But I like the uh, I like the pin. Or did I get that in a lot? Where did I get that at? Anyway, here it is. Uh, it's a little clip-on earrings and the uh, round, which I like the round shape of the brooch. It's very pretty. It's got the trombone clasp. Trombone clasp, and uh, it's nice on the back. My shop name, Susan, is Dazzled by Vintage. It's D-A-Z-Z-L-E-D-B-Y. Vintage all together. Angie, could you explain Damascene? Sure. Where is that? Uh, I have to figure some. I have to find something first because I have. I got. I just got a, a box that tells the whole process on it. It's it's made in Japan. Some of it is. Well, hold on a minute. Let me see if I can find that box that has the process on it. Thank you, Lise. It's two two Z's, Carla, and Dazzled. Okay. Here's what it says for Amida Damascene. And this is, there. you can have faux Damascene and you can have real Damascene. Um, real damascene is usually from Spain or Japan, and um, this is a this is a piece from Amida, uh, Japan here, and this would be a one that's a faux piece. That I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should take that back. I'm not. I'm not positive, but here's here's what it says, Adam. Bear with me on this now. Uh, inlaid with 24 karat gold and sterling silver, uh, Amida Damascene is one of the most traditional handicrafts succeeded only in Kyoto since more than a thousand years ago. Numerous lines are chiseled on steel foundation in crisscross. 24 karat gold and silver are pounded in. Surface of steel is corroded with nitric acid and rusted. Then rusted is stopped by being boiled in tea. Lacquer is baked on the entire surface. Gold and silver are polished out with salt, soft, not salt, I can't read, soft charcoal and engraved. So isn't that a process? Holy cow, it should be worth millions. It should be worth a lot more than it is. And it's beautiful stuff. You copied and pasted from my shop, or I would have spelled it wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's just gorgeous. So, you know, these, these little cufflinks that I found, not I found, that, that Mary or um, Janet sent me, they even say 24 carat on there. So, you know, beautiful, beautiful things. Just beautiful. And thank you again, Janet. I just love this stuff so much. And this this box that, that explains the process is just, I'm just so tickled with this whole, well, everything. Everything you sent me is just gorgeous. I know. So it's actually 24 karat gold. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it says in there. That's what the, the process is in making it. And it's smooth across the top. Yes, it is. Um, I mean, you can feel a little texture to it, but it's not rough by any means. Yeah, I, I, I really love it, Janet. Thank you. Hello, beautiful people. Hi, Rebecca. How are you doing? So, let me see what else. Oh, I wanted to show you. Um, now, I don't know if you remember last week I showed you this Park Lane piece and I didn't have the earrings with it 
at the time. The earrings are so cute. I there my husband tightened them up, so I have to show them to you now. They are so cute. So that goes with the the Park Lane bro brooch pin. And they're really cute. Makes a cute set. And a Monet brooch. Yeah, Pam, that's a long process, isn't it? That's why I say it should be worth a lot more money than. And I think that's it for that basket. But I have more. Thanks, Angie. Always try to learn a new thing a day. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, I love the brooch, too. So, um, I got this cameo ring, which is really cute. It's got purple glass in it. My lighting today is driving me crazy. Now, if you can see that, it's like light purple glass. And the lady is in there. And that's what it looks like on the back. Yeah, I like this too. Um, that's, that's pretty. I like that ring. I like the fact that it's round. And has the the like the brass detail around it. I always like round rings. Um, I think they're pretty. And I'm not a big cameo person, but when I saw that, I was like, oh, I like that. I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that. And then here's another cameo ring I thought was very pretty. Hi, Dia. This one just has little faux pearls in it, little seed pearls, and uh, resin, I think. I think that just all the detail on this makes it pretty. Uh, you know, it's not, not real or anything. It has one of these embossed, embossed gold tone bands on it that's some floral. It's just a fashion ring, but I think it's fancy and pretty. And anybody who likes cameos would probably like that. Uh, what would what would I price that at? You mean the purple ring or this ring? I have to look. I, I I'd probably go a little, you know, a little high. I, at first, I'd look and see, you know, if there's any other ones like it. If there isn't any other ones like it, I might price it. Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking 40 to 50. Not sure. I don't know. I, I just have to look. That sounds high in my mind, but yet maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Lise. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And this one here probably would not be as much as the purple one because I have a feeling I could probably find one like this. Maybe not, maybe not like the purple one, but I, I have a feeling I could find one like this or really similar to it. So that one wouldn't, wouldn't go as, as high. I really like this. I've never seen anything like this before, and it's signed on the back. Uh, Brooke Andrews. Have you ever heard of Brooke Andrews? It's like dragonflies. And I don't know the process of that. It almost is like, you know, it almost reminds me of kind of a Damascene, just in the fact that it's black and gold. And But it's really, really neat, I think. I like it a lot. And uh, here's the back of it. It can be a brooch or a pendant. And she's got her name there written. So it's artisan made. Her name is like written in the material, whatever material it is. I don't even know what it is. 
Yeah, it's different. I, I, I like it. I, and I found a good, it was just the pin when I got it. And I uh, got that at a thrift store for uh, $2 or something. And I found a nice chain. I think the chain looks nice with it. And uh, I found a little Monet uh, necklace, just white and gold, but it's on a chain, which is always attractive to me, that when I can find some beads on a chain, to me that indicates a nice piece, an older piece, and it is, you know, it does have the little Monet hang tag and the um, sister clasp. Sally's here. Hey, Sally. How are you doing? Sally, you missed my story about the balsam meatloaf. You have to go back and listen to that. And were you here, Carla? I don't know if you were here either about the balsam meatloaf. My story about my, my really, really good meatloaf that I made. Hey, Cece. Um, these are some that I got. I don't know where, but these are some earrings. They're pierced. They're kind of like hematite, and they just have they have something on the back that I can't read. It's it's almost like one of those uh, situations where the the maker just couldn't get it couldn't get it to come out right. The signing of it, you know, you see it and it's kind of blobbed together. That's what that is. Oh, you were here. The cat was eating your hair yesterday. <laughs> hey, Misha. Hope you're good today. Sorry about my lighting today. I don't know why. It's not very good. So this I got, uh, I don't know where. I'm going to quit saying that because I, I don't know where I get stuff. I just It just finds me. Poor kitty wanted a different kind of hairball. <laughs> Miss Chris, thank you for the Christmas card, Miss Chris. I was like, who is this? Who do I know that's a Chris in California? And there it was. It was from you. Um. <laughs> this I got. It's kind of cool. It has uh, some dried plants in it. I don't know if you can see that real well. Seems like up here in this corner, right in here, is a good place to show you things. <laughs> Maybe this is where I'll put everything to show you. Seems like the, the lighting's good up here in the corner. So anyway, there's that. That's pretty. <laughs> This, I don't know. Still not sure if I should have got this or not. Where it came from, I don't know. But it is, uh, I, I like the, the way it's made. It's got some kind of uh, natural stone chips on it. And look how it's connected. It's kind of cool with those, uh, is it bugle beads maybe? Those long beads. And, uh, Kind of cool how it's can all connected together like that. So someone made it. It's got the clasp that's like that. A hook clasp. Hey Kathleen. Stretchy bracelet. <laughs> You know, I'd have to get a stretchy bracelet in here. Huh. Okay. Lily of the Valley. Sterling silver lily of the valley. Now, this is a real good representation of a lily of the valley um, flower. Although... I think it's pretty old because the Lily of the Valley flowers are yellowed on this pin. So I think it's kind of old, but it does say Sterling on the back. 
and it's a really cute pin. It's got the pearl with it. Hope you can see it good. Oh, by the way, Angie, do you know the significance of the mustard seed jewelry? I have to ask when I heard these things pop into my head. The mustard seed is uh, a reference to a biblical term, like if you have the faith of a mustard seed, uh, you can, uh, you know, trust in the Lord and he will, he will uh, get it done, you know. That's really a poor way of saying it, but put it this way. A mustard seed has to do with your faith. It's, it's a Christian uh, reference. And it's signed there on the stem. Lily of the Valleys are one of my favorite flowers. I love the smell of them. And uh, I love the reference, the Christian reference to that too. Yeah, you can look it up in the Bible. It's in there about the mustard seed. I like this. It's like a stylized, it's almost like a stylized Christmas tree pin, but it's not, it's not really like a, it doesn't really, seem like a christmas tree to me looks more like leaves like a leaf cluster or something so it's pretty cute it's pretty sparkly pretty cute Lily of the Valleys and irises remind me of my mother. Me too. Me too. She had both of those. In fact, that's where I got mine at from her, from her yard. She was always giving me, you know, pieces of, of dirt with plants and flowers. And guess what else? Weeds. That's where I got all the weeds over here in my garden. They're from over at my home place. She wasn't much on weeding, but I'm like, I, I don't like weeds. I, I use preen for my garden to keep the weeds out, and I dig them out with a little trowel when they, when they appear. These are very cute. I like these. These are like little mosaic uh, sterling. I won these on an auction. I like the colors in those. It's like stained glass windows. So pretty. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, I've seen this type of jewelry, but I haven't seen any that are these these shades of blue and green like that, like stained glass. So they're really cute. This was on uh, Jewelry Nurse and uh, Vicki Porter's auction that I won these, pretty sure. Okay, Susan. Have fun at the play. I hope it's a hope it's a good play. Thanks for coming. This is a uh, old looking tie clasp. One of the, or no a collar stay. I'm sorry. It's a top. It's a collar stay. But um, it's very pretty. It's got the faux pearls, faux faux diamond there in it, rhinestone. I like the design. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Fifteen minutes and I'll be on the hour. These are Monet. I like these a lot. They're nice, nice hoops. These are Anne Klein. And and these would have been, you know, everything I got here would have been like, I think that the earrings were a dollar at this thrift store that I went to and picked these up. So the Monet and the and these black ones I know were a dollar. Some stuff I remember the price of, and some stuff it's been a while, so I kind of forget. 
I like these. Uh, no name, but I like the stars and stars on them, and they're like gl little globes. I think they're really cute with the different with the stars on them. Navy blue. Blue. I love them too. I love these too. And I thought they were milk glass, but now I'm, I'm I thought they were glass, but they're not. They're they are lucite or something, but they're old and I love the red and white. I think they're so so cute. And the little white beads are like faceted. The clip-ons. They're old, they're 50s at least, maybe earlier, but they're really cute. I love the red and white. Hey, Veda. Yeah, I like the red and white too. And then these, I have kind of a little collection of red, white, and blue stuff. So these little enamel clips, they were a dollar. These, these are part of the dollar earrings that I'm showing you now. Nadine, did I say hi to you? I, I see people later on in the chat, and I'm like, did I can't remember if I said hi to you or not. So if I did, and I say hi to you twice, you just consider yourself greeted twice. These are um, Trafari. And they're just plain navy blue. They're kind of the nautical style. And. Hmm. Oh, these are Monet. I think they're black. Got an, this was one of the eBay, uh, in the eBay lot. I really like it. This is an Anne Klein necklace. Has the Anne Klein hang tag on it. And uh, it's black and gold. Has the tassel. I love black and gold jewelry. I think it looks rich looking. And it's fairly long. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Anna Maria. How do you know all the names to the, all the different metals of your jewelry? Your items are so well described, by the way. Your shop is great and inspirational. Thank you so much. Um, I guess it's just, you know, I've been doing this for going on eight years. Well, longer than that, because before that I was on eBay for a while doing jewelry. But um, I guess it's just, you know, time. And, of course, I had all those jewelry books. You know, I, I, I just do a lot of uh, ob observation and and studying and, you know, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of time. You, you learn stuff over time. Uh, that was why I was so scared to sell on Etsy to put the right decade. Um, that's, yeah, that's hard. That's kind of hard, you know, but it's not that scary because, you know, if you just say before the, um, before a certain date if you don't know exactly you know you think it's from the 80s but you're not really sure if you say before 1999 chances are you're going to be okay mary says angie i noticed that your jewelry always looks fresh how do you keep it from tarnishing etc well i don't i usually my jewelry is kind of stuff that doesn't really tarnish that much um if it does, I will clean it with a cloth or something to keep it looking nice. But a lot of my jewelry, you know, is is not the real, real old stuff. It's it's more, you know, 
I don't know. I don't have any real whole bunch of antique stuff, you know. I have a few antique -y things, but a lot of it's more modern costume jewelry. Or, you know, not modern per se, but newer. Oh, thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. Experience, time, study, and research. Exactly, Francis. All those factors. Exactly. And these are little uh, pierced earrings. I kind of have a... There's no name on these or anything, but I just liked the uh, design of them a lot. And I thought these, that black and gold necklace that I showed, I thought these went really well with it, even though they're, you know, old, old time. These are actually old, you know, they're probably 50s or older. And uh, I thought they did look nice with that black and gold necklace, you know, with that. Oh, Cindy loves jewelry. Just in case you missed this comment, uh, Angie, you should do a video where you tell us what period you think they are made and what about the jewelry clues you in. Oh, okay. Okay. I could try that. Um, You know, that's not one of my real strong points. I'd be having to look at, look at my books. It's not something that I look at and say, oh, that's Edwardian or, you know. I, I can recognize 50s really well and 60s and 70s and 80s, you know. Um, later than that, you know, I, I, there's a few clues like that. Say that that spring ring class that has the nub on it that I mean, that doesn't have the nub on it. You know, that little thing, if it's if it's just has that little. Oh, I'm having a hard time here. Well, different different things give it give it away. Put it that way. I should do a video on it. Um, do you do your photos or hobby? I do them. I wouldn't wouldn't trust him, him to do them. <laughs> yeah, that would be a, that would be a disaster. I'm I'm kind of a control freak as far as my shop goes. I mean, I. I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I just, I like to control every aspect of it. Not really the C-clasp, I mean that spring ring clasp that has that little nub on it. If it's without the nub, then it's like 18, 19, uh, early, late 1800s or early 1900s, if it doesn't have that knob, put it that way, that knob on the C-clasp. I do know that I did learn that. So this is a little bracelet that I picked up. I thought it was cute. There's probably a lot of these types out here, but I like the the pale um, pastels in, in the in the bracelet, the floral pastels, and that's what it looks like on the back. It's got the fold over clasp. Hi, Granny Josie. How are you doing? Sorry I had to go to bed last night. See you were on for an hour and 50 minutes. You, you guys had a lot to talk about last night, didn't you? <laughs> I'm glad you found our community because I think it's added. I mean, it adds a lot to people's lives to be able to, you know, just come on and talk to friends. I think that's pretty cool. Um. Anna Maria says, I find a few necklaces that are old made of cotton thread. Do you know which year? No, I don't. Cotton thread. Hmm. I don't. Thank you, um, Lisa. You talk a lot. <laughs> Everybody else probably enjoys it, and, and they talk too. That's what's neat about it. Here's a uh, incline necklace. Another one. It's just gold. I like the design of it. It's got a bracelet to match. And it's really pretty. I like the the uh, chain type. Is it like an open box link or something? It's pretty neat. 
I like it. It's not real long, but it does have an adjustable, um, an extender chain on it. You're working on a series about 20, 30, 40, and 50 jewelry. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that. That'll be a good to watch. Yeah, I want to I wanna see that for sure. This is a, a really neat bracelet that I won from April's auction. I like it a lot. It's brass and copper. See the copper around the edge of that? It's like hexagon. Or wait, is that hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, hexagon. And then it has uh, some maybe tracery uh, enamel in it, black enamel. And it's got some uh, mill grain texture in it. Maybe that's not black enamel in there. I don't know. But it's got mill grain texture in it. And then this copper band itself is floral etched. So there's a, I looked for, I looked online for something similar. I can't find anything. So that's kind of a good, a good sign that there's nothing like it. And it's really different. So I like it a lot. Hi, Carmen. Hope you're doing good. Uh, that was six dollars on April's auction. That that uh, copper and brass bracelet. This is kind of different. This is actually a belt. And I used to know them what this uh, maker was, but I forget. It's kind of like from the 80s, I think. Anybody recognizes this cat, let me know. I I have a couple pieces of my own personal jewelry that have this cat on it. And I forget what the maker is or what the, yeah, what the maker is on it. But I know that it's certain a certain maker of this. So here's the, I guess you could wear this as a necklace too. I'm not sure. But I was thinking it was a belt because it's really, really long. And then here it's got a hook on the back right there baby fat that's it that's what it is so so then it's got little rhinestones oh. rhinestones at the end of the uh the end of it which i think is a cute A cute addition or whatever so I can't really get it fastened to show you exactly but uh, now it would look something like that you know fastened and then this would this part here would hang down this part here would hang down like that it's kind of cool bye Cindy taking a nap okay oh and i got some maser pieces i got some ma more maser pieces you know i just sold that one necklace for uh forget how much 125 i think something like that but i got uh, a nice choker and a bracelet to match with a safety chain and these are our uh, maser brothers so they're they're the ones that were only made during the late 30s early 40s because it's signed Mazer Brothers on the foldover class. So there it's kind of plain, but it's uh if you look at it close, it has a cool detail on it. It's got kind of a neat detail on the uh, and it's really of course it's really really nicely made. And this would be from the late late 30s, early 40s. So it is it is 2:30. Angie, where they purchased online or picked up at a thrift store. The, the Mazer brothers were on uh, an eBay purchase. Um, some of this other stuff was thrift store, but I did get the Mazer on, on eBay. 
So I'm going to save a few things for next week. And I mean a few things is really pretty much all I have. So thank you. Thumbs up. Thanks. I will be back sometime through the week. Janet, make sure you message me on your idea for a video for me. And if I can think of anything to make a video about through this week, I will do that. So thanks, everybody, for being here. And I will see you all soon in the chats or somewhere. And uh, God bless you all. Have a very blessed day. And see ya. Bye.